Welcome back to Journey Alberta. I'm Sean. Here's my girlfriend, Danae. Today, we're heading out to Kananaskis to camp for a night. So we're in the vehicle. This is where we always start our camping trips, it seems, <laughs> for the last couple months. We are heading to the Interlakes Campground in the Peter Lougheed Provincial Park. It's right in between the lower and upper Kananaskis Lakes, so it's going to be beautiful. If you've been out there before, you know it's a very beautiful area. Hoping to get a spot right on the lakeshore. I'd say the potential is definitely there that we might get a spot on the lakeshore. From here, we need just to just go get some gas, a bit of firewood, some and we'll be coffee. on our some coffee. Yes. <laughs> and we'll be on our way. Well, we've arrived in Kananaskis. We're at the Interlakes Campground. It's so beautiful out here. We're in the Peter Lahi Provincial Park as well. It's so beautiful out here, like, so quiet. We're in between the upper and the lower Kananaskis Lake. We've got an amazing sight here. Can't remember what the number is offhand. Four, I think we're in the 40s. It's 40 something, 43 yeah. maybe. Yeah. But we're basically on the lake. Most of the sites here are on the lake as well, the lower lake. It's just beautiful. We almost have like a little private area where we can walk down and maybe take a chair down there later or in the morning and just relax. It's not too windy right where we are either, so that's kind of nice too. Do you think the site's nice? Yeah, I have to say this is one of the nicer sites that yeah. we've been to and I actually want to come back here. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the places we've camped, I think for me it's been five camping trips now in the last like yeah. month and a half, four for her. This is probably the nicest site we've been to so far. Mm -hmm. So I think for now, we'll unpack the tent, get some of that stuff out, and then we may go for a little drive after. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like this area. It's, it's nice. a very nice area. So now we're at the North Interlakes Day Use Area. You can see the Upper Kananaskis Lake here, the lower one. Incredible views. I feel like it's been so long since I've actually been out to this specific area. I, don't, I think the last time I was here was when I hiked to the Point Backcountry Campground. Uh, I think it was in March. Actually, it was on my birthday, March 19th, earlier this year. So I haven't been out to this lake since. Water on the Upper Lake looks like it's a lot higher than I've probably ever seen it, to be honest. Because normally I think I'm out here earlier than in the year. So Danae went to the bathroom, just waiting for her to come back, and then we're probably going to do a little walk around that trail over there. Thank you. 
Well, we're back at our campsite. The Upper Kananaskis Lake was beautiful, just kind of wandering around there. We went to the uh, other day use area where the uh, trail starts for Rawson Lake. But just incredible views from there. And for Danae, it's the first time for her seeing it unthawed. I forgot that. I took her up here very briefly earlier in the year when we were in the area and she saw it when it was frozen. But just amazing views from it. Now that we're back at the campground, I've walked right down to the shore of the lower lake here. It's basically, ooh, I want to say 15 steps from our campsite. So uh, not very far at all. Just incredibly beautiful, like right being right on the shore here. Really like the Interlakes campground so far. Well, we're gonna get a fire started now. I've got a little log cabin-esque kind of setup here. I got my tinder wrapped in some paper towel. I cut the tinder here with my knife on some of the wood that I brought from home. All right, here we go. I light this side too. This side doesn't want to light. That looks like that's doing the job. Oh yeah, it's catching. Supper's ready. We've got steak and some broccoli cheddar rice. We eat well when we're camping. Oh, the broccoli cheddar rice is great. Danae is uh, just enjoying her food so much. It's going crazy. <laughs> okay, let's cut into the steak. They cooked it really fast because our fire right now is pretty big. Mmm. That is flavorful. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Very flavorful. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, I bought these steaks yesterday. And I put some oil and then put all the spices and put them in a plastic bag. And they were sitting in the fridge overnight. And then through all of today, that flavor is just seeped into these steaks. Oh, they're amazing. I'm going to finish off my steak now. sun is set. It's completely dark out. We could see a lot of the stars actually. It was pretty cool. Like the Milky Way and everything. Or the lower lake. It's time for bed. It's time to go to sleep. We'll see you in the morning. It's morning now. Today and I have both left the tent and we're walking along the shore of the lower Kananaskis Lake right here, admiring the amazing views. I slept okay overall. Danae had some uh, <laughs> fun experiences though sleeping. I sleep with earplugs so I didn't hear it. Yeah. What'd you um, hear? I don't know what time it was, probably early. I heard a bunch of wolves out in the distance. <laughs> And I couldn't tell how far away they were, so rather than waking Sean up, I just kind of laid there in a panic. <laughs> Eventually I woke him up, um, 
earlier in the morning we both heard them. He assured me they were very far away. <laughs> yeah, they were very far away when I, when I heard them. Oh, it's so. very scary to hear a bunch of wolves in the middle of the night. It's different than uh, Whoa. <laughs> just hearing a plane go over in the, in the city or hearing a cop car <laughs> drive by, so. It's cool. It's cool. It's, it's, it's a little freaky. freaky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna admire the views here for a little bit and then we'll head back to our campsite and start a fire. some eggs all ready for breakfast this morning. I cooked them up, we ate them. Basically what we're doing is instead of me cooking everything up right now, kind of doing courses in breakfast. So we had eggs first, mainly we're doing this too because Sean forgot other plates so we're eating out of these and they're a little small. These uh, foldable camping containers. So we had eggs, now we're having steak marinated just like the ones we had for supper last night, so kind of a steak and eggs breakfast. And then after this, I'll cook up some bacon. But let's see how the steak is first. It's like last night's. It'd be amazing. Whoa. That is a good steak. It's so flavorful. Jeez. I'm gonna eat the rest of this, and then start cooking up the bacon. Well, we left the campground, we extinguished the fire, we took down the tent, we packed up all of our stuff. And we hit the road. Now we are at the Elbow Pass day use area. We're gonna hike up to Elbow Lake. Probably about just over halfway to Elbow Lake. I haven't really done a hike since July 1st, I think, actually. Danae hasn't really done a hike since January because of a broken ankle and everything. So uh, we struggled a little bit coming up that first section that's really steep. Not a whole lot of eleva elevation gain on this hike, but it happens all right away. Right now, Substantially easier, I'm finding. Oh yeah. A lot more flat, a lot more gradual, so that's nice. We must be getting close to the lake, I think, though. We're at Ebo Lake now. We walked around, explored the campground a little bit. It's a beautiful lake with a not a super long trail, although the first part was a little tough, so. Very steep. <laughs> so I'm going down is gonna be going down steep. So we're gonna yep. have to take our time, make sure we're checking our footing. Oh yeah. Alright, so should we get started? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go.
Well, we're back at the vehicle now. I enjoyed the hike. It was nice, especially doing it in the fall, seeing all the fall colors and everything. And camping at the Interlakes campground was really great, too. It was one of the better campgrounds I think we've camped at yeah. over the last couple months. Like, being around the lake there was amazing, and like it was pretty quiet there as well. So, I really enjoyed that about this trip. What about you? What did you enjoy? Um, just how close we were to the water. That mm -hmm. was really nice, and it was very quiet there, and mm -hmm. I like that. How did you find the little hike we did? Uh, my ankle hurts now. <laughs> A little steep, more than I was expecting, but otherwise it was nice. The payoff was worth it. Mm -hmm. Yep, she did it. <laughs> yeah, I so, did. <laughs> gotta start small and start building your way up to bigger ones. So, yep. hopefully, you enjoy watching us on our little Kananaskis adventure. <laughs> Leave a like and comment down below where you'd like to see us go next. Subscribe for new videos coming every Friday. We'll see you next week.